Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to talk about TrueNAS Scale again. Yes, it happened. The release of a new version of TrueNAS Scale is out. TrueNAS Scale Bluefin. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take my existing TrueNAS Scale, we're going to upgrade it to Bluefin. And while it's doing that, we're going to take a look at the new features and things that are going on with Bluefin. All right, let's get started. Here we go. First of all, here's the website. Here's a blog post. Uh, if you want to just go to TrueNAS.com, check out their blog. They have a post about it, all the wonderful things that are it. Um, and then here is my TrueNAS scale. And so, first of all, this is a, a, a basically a new version. So you're going from, you know, version 13 to 14 or whatever. They, they don't use those in, those numbers anymore, but it's like upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11, kind of. All right, so... What you want to do is log into your TrueNAS scale. Go ahead and click on this check for updates on the dashboard. You can do it go the other way. And then you're going to see here that we're on the Angelfish release um, train. So we're going to open this up and you're going to see that blue fan. And then so it's going to ask you to switch trains, right? And then click continue. So that's going to switch to the trains. And so you'll see this, there's operation upgrade from 2202 to 2212. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and hit this little button here. And then so you've got download updates, upstate, uh, install updates, files manually. So we're gonna go to the download updates. It's gonna want you to back up your config. This is very important, you should do this. And check that little box to keep the secret seeds. Uh, and click save configuration. And then, then you're going to, so that's going to download that. So you'll have it for a backup in case something goes south, right? So we're going to check the little box that says apply updates, reboot system after download, and then going to click download. And boom. All right. So this guy is going. So while that's doing it, we have it updating. And over on the other side, we have the blog post. So read through this blog post. You'll get some information here. They have some notable expanded features here, some NVMe support, cluster node replacement is enabled. So if you're playing with cluster FS on this, then, you know, that's something to do. We haven't done a video on that yet, but I plan on doing that. Um, and because that's pretty cool stuff. I like cluster FS. Uh, I've done it in the past. I've got some, I've had some Raspberry Pis where I installed some, Ubuntu or, or Debian on them, and I did a little cluster FS with them, and, and that's pretty cool. So that's something that I plan on doing some videos on. If you're interested in that, drop a comment to, in the bottom saying cluster, yes. And, uh, and then I will do a video on cluster FS in general. HA, acceleration, rootless security. So here's a good one. So you see this where it says FIPS 140? So FIPS is very important if you've got uh, regulations and you've got government requirements on data. So if you're if you're doing things such as uh, government work, uh, a lot of times they're going to require you to have FIPS validated encryption and stuff like that. So so they're moving that direction, and they and if you get the enterprise version, um, you can do some FIPS validated stuff. So that's important. This is part of that progression towards that. Ah, let's get some SMB sharing proxy. I'm not sure what that is, but that seems pretty cool. Uh, storage web web UI. Uh, there's some improvements there, so we'll take a look at that once it gets rebooted and see what we can figure. See if we can see some differences there. Kubernetes is they're moving that along down. So where there's advancements in the Kubernetes area, uh, Docker open overlay FS. There's some improvements there that will give you. Um, that, that how Docker interacts with the file system and it greatly reduces the overhead. So there's a performance improvements there. Virtualization improvement. Oh, this is a fun one for me because you can do USB pass through uh, and then also pass through existing PCI devices, including GPUs. So if you're going to do that uh, fun thing like remote gaming and you need to pass through your GPU or if you're doing mining or something, or you have some process or some virtual machine that needs access to the, the the GPU, that is important for you too. All right. 
WireGuard. All right. Everybody loves WireGuard. Get your get your WireGuard on. All right. Store J. This is one I haven't really messed with much, but it's pretty cool. There's it's basically a distributed um, storage for everyone. Um, check that out. But basically, you can you can donate storage on your device to other people. It's all encrypted and stuff like that. Uh, you can use other devices in the store J as as your storage stuff. So it's it's like you know having access to uh, other people's NAS for your storage and giving access to your NAS for other people's NAS, but in a secure way. That's that's generalization, um, but yeah, performance improvements always good to have performance improvements. They're they're tweaking this the, this underlying system to make sure that NFS and iSCSI and everything is performing excellent. Enterprise. Enterprise improvements. So that's good there. Security enhancements. Again, back down on this FIPS 140-3 compliant crypto modules. Now, if you notice, that says enterprise only. So you have to buy the enterprise version of this to, to get access to that. But honestly, if you're playing in that zone where you've got those government requirements, so those the requirements for FIPS validated stuff, then uh, you really should be using probably the enterprise version in the first place uh, just to... Uh, uh, cover cover yourself. All right. So here it is. That's that's the little spiel of everything. And we're going to look at this release notes. So here's the fun stuff. So if you look at release notes, the release notes is going to be more more detail about every little thing that's changed. All right. So here we have it. Now oh, it's kind of hard to read like this. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this over so that we can see this stuff. This is scale 2212 Bluefin release notes. But we're going to go down here to the change long. So the UI state management, there's some changes there. Look at all of these new features. Boom, 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 boom. We go through there. It's a bunch of good stuff, but nothing that really jumps right out at me that says, oh, got to take a look at this. So all great things. Really, this product is very stable. TrueNAS scale has come a long way from when they first started this and, and to jump on the Linux bandwagon after being a, a BSD, free BSD product for so long. And don't forget, the free BSD version, the core version, is still available, still viable, still an absolutely wonderful product. And frankly, it's still my go-to. All right, so improvements on a bunch of these things here. Um, I'm not going to go like that's so massive amount. Bug fixes. Bug fixes are important. Look at that. They're finding them. They're getting rid of them. They're fixing them. It's wonderful. Known issues. So here's where you, something that may be important. Take a look at these known issues. Uh, if you're before you were updating or when you're up, take a look. Are there some things in that might impact you on an individual basis? So take a look at those before you jump right in. So we'll go over to storage. And wow, look at how the storage has changed. Now, if you remember, this is not even remotely what it used to look like, but this is awesome. You get these dashboard items. So you, you can manage your pools, manage your data sets, scrub, manage your disks. This is awesome. This is amazing. I love this. You have got to get upgraded to this just for the visibility of some of these things. This is a massive improvement from a visual standpoint. Okay, so there you have it. Bluefin is out. Get it. Get your true NAS scale updated to Bluefin and have fun. I recommend it so far. Um, touch base with you again if there's any troubles I run into, things like that. Um, if you got something on this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, it really does uh, help me produce these videos. And if you're getting something out of it, then that that's that's important to me. I do these videos uh, for educational purposes and because I, I want to spread the love of some of these IT stuff that I play with, that I've had a passion for for many years. And uh, I know there are people just like me out there that want to know how to do things, but need a little bit of help. And YouTube and searching the web has been how I've done it for a long time. And so producing these videos helps other people get on the track to do the things they want to do in their home network or their business. We'll see you next time.